and all that and how are you doing in the Lord this is another moment this is another time that I want to talk about the new life that we have in Christ Jesus it's something that we can not hide or we can not keep it for ourselves it is what we must share with everyone in our lives the new life in Jesus Christ starts when we accept the free gift of God well, Jesus is not a free gift. Uh, he's, he has paid the debt for our sins, the penalty for our sins. But he's free in the sense that we are not paying for him or for what he did for us already. So we can't be able to pay it on ourselves. Jesus paid the debt on our behalf. And that's why he became the free gift of God to us. So the moment we accept the gift of God and welcome him into our lives, indeed, we have a new life. We have a new being in ourselves, you know, a new nature. The Bible says, you know, if anyone be in Christ, he is the new creation or the new creation. That's the beginning. And then when we are born again, of course, like newborn babies, we have to feed, and the feeding here is the Word of God. So I find myself, when I read the Word of God, when I study the Word of God, you know, I find myself feeding spiritually, not starving anymore. So I encourage you to read your Bible, study it, meditate on it, speak it out, I am the light of the world. I am more than a conqueror. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You see, this is what the Bible says I am. I have divine life. I have divine health. I have divine wealth. All these are what the Bible says uh, uh, about me and about everybody who believes in Jesus Christ. So you speak it out. And then speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues can also be praying in tongues. It can also be singing in tongues. But speaking in other tongues. I know it is one of the controversial subjects, but it is not controversial. We, human beings, we, theologians, made it into a controversial subject. It doesn't have to be because it isn't controversial in itself. It is in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. If you read it very well, you will find out what this is, what it means, and its uses, why you should use it, when you should use it, and when you shouldn't use it. You know, speaking in tongues is not for the Pentecostal guys only. It's for you and me who believe in Jesus Christ and have received the gift of the Holy Spirit. And then, of course, another thing after speaking in tongues is uh, praying I'm not saying pray in tongues in this, in this point pray in your understanding because Paul says he, he, can, he can pray in other tongues or in his understanding so pray in your understanding give praises and worship to God because you know the Holy Spirit desires to have a fellowship with you the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. One of the best things in life is to have a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And then, of course, uh, uh, finally, you, you share your life stories. These are not rules, they are not laws, you, they are not commandments to keep, but they are things. I call them principles. Seven personal, spiritual development principles or whatever order you can put it. So thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. Shalom.